Hi, and welcome to the webinar, Getting Leverage, Going Short. I'm Matt Hogan, editor of IndexUniverse.com and the Exchange Traded Funds Report, and the host of today's webinar, which is the latest in a series of webinars developed by IndexUniverse.com and Financial Advisor Magazine. I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's webinar, Direction, developer of 300% leveraged and 300% inverse ETFs. You know, this is really probably the most exciting topic in ETF land right now, leveraged and short ETFs. It's also one of the most controversial. I'm sure you've all seen the media coverage. A lot of investors have had great success using these products, and a lot of investors have been burned, which doesn't surprise me really. These are powerful tools. They're the sharpest knives in a drawer full of really sharp knives, which is saying something. Because the thing about ETFs, the thing that I really like about them, is that they deliver institutional caliber tools and institutional caliber pricing to all investors. But that very fact is what makes ETFs dangerous. They're very powerful tools, and they're put in the hands of all investors and all advisors, and they put a burden of education. You have to understand how those products work, and that's why we're here today. For the next 25 minutes or so, I'm going to walk you through a core presentation on the what, how, why, and where of leverage and inverse ETFs. I'm going to show you what they are, how they work, why they work, and where many investors go astray. Then I'm going to turn to my esteemed panelists, Louis Stanisalovich, CEO and President of Legend Financial Advisors and editor of the monthly newsletter Risk Controlled Investing. Lou has been ranked one of Worth's top advisors for 12 consecutive years and uses leverage and short ETFs in his practice. Joining us also is Dan O'Neill, President and CEO of Direction Funds and Direction Shares, developers of leveraged and inverse mutual funds and ETFs. Dan has a lot of experience with alternative strategies, and I'm going to turn to Dan and Lou at the end of the panel to provide some information on the when, when you can use these funds, and what are some of the ideas they have today for how you can use them in a portfolio. Then we'll open it up to audience Q&A and go from there. So let's get started. What are leveraged and short ETFs? Well, let's just get some definitions out there. A leveraged ETF attempts to provide returns equivalent to a multiple of a benchmark over a specific period of time. An inverse ETF attempts to provide returns opposite and often leveraged to a benchmark over a specific period of time. And you'll see that I've italicized over a specific period of time because that's really the key phrase. That's the key thing I want people to take away from this webinar. How long you hold these funds matters. It will determine how good a job they do delivering the returns you want. You really have to understand holding period, and we'll get into that soon. But first, I wanted to talk a little bit about the history of these funds. You know, a lot of people think these funds are brand new. They think they only debuted in 2006 when the first ProShares ETF came out. But in reality, they've been around for about 15 years. The first leverage index fund, the Ridex Novo Fund, launched in 1993, and it's been delivering 150% of the return of the one-day return of the S&P 500 for 15 years. We got our first inverse fund a year later, and it went on from there. But it is true that these things went viral in 2006 when ETFs came on the scene. Today, just three years after the first leveraged and inverse ETFs launched, they have over $30 billion in assets. You can buy almost any major asset class. You can buy up to three times positive or three times negative leverage. You know, if you want stocks, you can get stocks. If you want bonds, you can get bonds. If you want commodities, you can get it. Gold, oil, whatever you want, it's right there. <music> 